చేయాలి ఇంపార్టెంట్ క్వశ్చన్ చూపించారు దాంట్లో వేసే మోడల్ ఉంది అప్లికేషన్ లేయర్ the these three layers are called as software layers and the transport layer is known as the heart of the osi model and these three layers are of hardware layer in the from the data uh, senders system the data travels from application layer to the physical layer but in the data receiver uh, system the data travels from physical layer to the application layer now i'm going to explain the osi model uh, starting from the center side that is application layer it is used by network applications the network applications are like skype google chrome and microsoft teams and firefox the web sources are like file transfer web surfing and email these uses protocols like http https ftp telnet etc file transfer uh, uses H- uh, ftp protocol and web surfing uses http and https protocol email uses snmp protocol the next layer is presentation layer major functions of the presentation layer are data translation data compression and data encryption and decryption in data translation the word is got from the application which is converted to binary format and ascii value which is converted to epsilon data compression is used to reduce the size of the data for example the size of this data is 3 mb is reduced to 1 mb the data encryption is used to convert the original data to a uh, cipher uh, to maintain integrity and provide security the protocols used in presentation are ssl imap ssh etc the next layer is session layer it enables manage and terminate connection it uses apis the major functions of the session layer are authentication and authorization in authentication we check whether the user is a part of the network or not in authorization we check whether the user has the permissions to send and receive the data uh, in this layer this session requests request the this session to con- for connections when the when this session responses it the connection is established we use apis sockets and winsock in this animation we can see without authentication anyone can send message but it is not safe but with authentication only the net, uh, users of the network can send the next layer of osi model is transport layer it ensures end to end transmission across the network it will do connection oriented and connectionless transmission of data the major functions of the transport layer are segmentation flow control error control in segmentation data is divided into smaller data units and those data units are called segments every segment contains data port number sequence number in flow control we will ensure that a sender is not overwhelming a receiver by sending packets faster than it can consume we are matching the speed of sender and receiver in error control we are using automatic repeat request to avoid lost segments and to retransmit lost segments the protocols used in transport layer are tcp udp sctp dccps tcp is used in connection oriented and udp are used in connectionless oriented transmission of data network layer in network layer data is called as packets there are three operations done in network layer first is logical addressing in logical addressing we use ipv4 header and ipv6 header and segment is the data transmitted from a uh, transport layer and which is attached to uh, ip addresses of receiver and ip address of sender and this whole part is called as packet routing is done with the network device called router it helps to end end to end delivery of net data and the third operation is uh, path determination in this in in computer network there are many paths it helps us to choose the short, shortest path for the data transmission the I, protocols used in network uh, layer is ip icmp igmp and arp etc 
data link layer in data link layer we have three operations first one is framing second one is logical link control third one is media access control in framing the packet which is the data transmitted from network layer is uh, added by MAC addresses of sender and receiver and at the end tail is attached which indicates the end of the frame and this entire thing is called as frame in logical link control it deals with protocols like error control and flow control the protocols by used by flow control are stop and wait ARQ go back NIRQ and error control protocols are parity and CRC in media access control, it provides protocols to access shared media and to avoid collision. And it uses protocols like CSMA, CSMA by CA, CSMA by CD, token passing, etc. In data link layer, the protocols used are NCP, LCP, HDLC, etc. The first layer in the OSI reference model is physical layer. It is used to transmit the data frames into raw data bits for transmission. In this diagram, we can see the sender side, we have the data frames. They are converted into individual bits for transmission to the receiver layer. So we use wired or wireless transmission medium. We use fiber cables, integrated services, USB, Wi-Fi and etc. other cables for this. To wrap up the OSI model, let us see the function of each layer. So the application layer is used for data generation and the presentation layer is used for encryption and formatting and the session layer is used for establishing connection and transport layer is used for delivery and sequencing and the network layer is used for routing to destination and the data link layer is used for local to network host delivery and the physical layer is used for accessing the media. Now you have seen all the layers of the OSI model. If you find it hard to remember, I can help you with the shortcuts. If you are going from 1st to the 7th layer, the shortcut is PDNTSPA which represents physical data link network transport session presentation application i know you like the pizzas more for you i have come up with an another shortcut which is all people should try new domino's pizza which represents application presentation session transport network data link and physical <laughs>